was the river rune. The Mangdaya could be the one, but he's healthy now. That's the difference. His remnant's about to expire. No, sorry. Regardless, they didn't really have a tree to set up. Uh, they need levels, actually. Oh, Arena of Xiaoyu just out of range from you. They need levels. It was really bad right now on this Earth Spirit. It's only level 3, and this is mainly because we haven't seen those uh, rotations come through to the side lane to get the kills. As Ohio, well, he's going to be in trouble, but more importantly, it's kind of Xiao Yu with this Rolling Thunder. Wami's going to try and bounce off the wall, will do so successfully, and he just finds a solo kill. And really great use of this reactionary TPs from Army Genius, as you see with that Arena on cooldown. You know, not having uh, a big ultimate there from Team Mystery kind of hurt them. Sure, but, like, it's good that they're punishing that, but Mercury has had, like, we've talked about this, he's had these items for, like, two and a half minutes, and he has not made one effective rotation. In the meantime, Amang Dai has just been farming, and then eventually when they go super deep, then he TPs in, and because of that, he's, what, 600 gold ahead of the Wind Ranger in net worth, he's about a level ahead as well. So things are looking not too great for Mercury again in this and now game top lane. Ghosts, he's pushed up very aggressively. They don't bring him down though. Oh, the movement speed from the phase just enough. And that would have been a big kill because he's pretty much free farming right now towards the Radiance. As Mystery now with the rotations. They bring all five there. The shop. They've got a great ward on the high ground. It looks like Army Genius is looking to set up and make sure they're connected as a team so no one gets picked off. I think they were just desperate to take anything on this map. Mm. And he's still going to end up going into the Mithril Hammer. See, I don't, I don't know how I feel about this on, uh, like, just going straight Maelstrom. The Gleipnir might be all right eventually in the super late game, which is, you know, an, an argument for it, I suppose. You know, it's, it's great against four of these heroes. Bummy. Charge up that rolling thunder, but I oh, doesn't get damage. Stands his ground. Nice use of the abilities from a higher, but still puts him in a spot where DB can bring him down. We're not going to see the ultimate come through, but no DB's tusk, protected. Yeah, if the tusk is alive, that is a very different prospect. But I mean, that is your damage potential right now. The uh, focus five, first time it's been used, I believe, and it's completely for nothing. You do have to say though, like this Radiance time from Dyer is going to be, it's make it or break, I don't want to say make it or break it actually, but I feel like it's all important because that timing over Battle Fury, you have a lot more potential to get aggressive through engagements and show up instead of someone who has like a Battle Fury. Mm hmm. Are you? They do see him right now. I mean, it's if you don't bring him down to start, him dropping arena on its T1 towers. Yeah, there you go. Missed the roll, but they're going to have to commit now the Omni as well just to make sure they burst him through before these extra rotations. But the Shackled Limb uh, is going to get some protection. Cookie along with the Healing Ward, so... Uh, they got the boys on their back there. And again, like, it's it's... I don't know if someone wrote down the exact time that that focus fire was used on Mercury, but it had about three seconds left when they were able to finally get away as he gets the Maelstrom delivered to him. So that is a uh, a dead hero if, uh, you know, Lim you know, doesn't get cookied away. If he got all those cooldowns, does he have enough mana to be able to use the full combo? I don't oh, know if nice. he does. Silence! Lim! It pops the smoke, not that it really does much, but they still lose the life on the snap fire. It was a cute attempt through the silence, but... Uh, that tier one tower falling honestly was pretty Im impactful for army geniuses because they didn't have you know, the potential of Wormy being able to TP in and, and the Emperor TP to the tier two tower was uh, too slow. But I don't think you care, right? Like they're, they're TPing no, through the bottom yeah. side. Ghost is still level 11, not quite yet level 12. So if they were to make any kind of rotation, it would be pretty good to be able to take him down. The skeleton's doing a lot though. Missing the skeletons with the swashbuckle. But you know there's no focus fire. You know there's no arena of blood. Now is the time to be trying to make something happen. Mid lane, the main dial. Snowball's not speedy enough. Oh, a higher. Didn't even want to drop the ice shards so that he could just stop running. You know, you want to fo uh, force out as much mana regen as possible. With this next kill, at least it's going to be a maelstrom picked up from Magdaya, so... 
even with only having this, uh, you know, only involved in one kill, only having the uh, the Mithril Hammer so far, he's still doing pretty well for himself in the net worth department. Smoke on smoke, mystery. I got the Observe Ward right now. Lim, can he get the roll away? Wami, nice positioning, and he gets the stun as well with the blink on the back line. They're controlling Mercury. The wind run at least allows him to get away from the chain lockdown that the Rolling Thunder could have provided there. But they, uh, it's just another solo kill. They're still sticking around, though, from either team. Mine is truly a blessed life. Eventually going back, just looking to region up a little bit. Come back in with the use of that bottle. Even grabbing a quick neutral item. And yeah, my Mangdai is keeping up the pace. You love to see these mid players that, you know, he was playing the morphling last time. He was carrying from the mid lane. This time around, it's all on DB. And uh, they've got that flexibility to play these different sorts of roles. That's what I like seeing with army geniuses. And even, just, look at this, taking up a few of these tower hits, making sure that the siege creep stays alive. They realize how important this is to be able to continuously invade the jungle. Radiance has been picked up by Ghost, though. Yeah, like, Dyer need to all be here right now. I don't know, but the win range is not. Nice use to Reno, along with the Supernova off on the high ground. They're going to be protecting our DB as well. Oh, the Mordek is doing a lot of damage. Jogo, can he get the Omni Slash off fast enough? He's going to be able to, but Yahoo's pushing him back onto the tower, so he'll still lose his life. But the guys committing aggressively. They got the Rolling Thunder nice as well. Roll. Romney with the Wing 4 roll as well. Ghost doesn't have the second life to play with if they can chain block him down, but the Radiance is slowly oh, going to work. And finally, Mercury, nice use of the shot. But they don't have the numbers right now. Ghost ring around the rosy, but can he keep his life? He can't. Want me one more right click will do the trick. Will he go for the power shot? It was shot? a decent fight, but I just they're still going to end up losing their tower. That was such a big advantage that Team Mystery had. They just got Radiance, and you're, the Wraith King had the, the level 12 as well, mm -hmm. which always feels nice. And but they just didn't have the win range until the, the later stages. Like, that fight could have been so much more different if the win range is there. It was a perfectly placed supernova as well in combination with the Arena of Blood right on the edge, so there was no way that they were going to uh, be able to take out the egg. But yeah, like you mentioned, just... It feels like uh, the comms are a bit off for Mercury not to be there. Like, you need that burst damage. This fight is totally different if you're able to take out that Juggernaut at the very beginning. Oh, nice cookie stun as well. I I am absolutely astonished at how stupid the little Shredder med medallion is. Like, you do so much damage. It's crazy. It, it's literally like 600 damage on your own as a position 5 while providing all of this other utility. What? <laughs> and now he's got a solo press, uh, by the way. Hey, I mean, they can take Roche. Like, if I use a couple of big ultimates and don't get enough kills out of them, then you could definitely see Radiant just think about taking Roche. You might even see Radiant think about getting the kill on Mercury. Well, they're thinking so about whatever. it. Uh, at least saw Wami teeping in, so he was able to be aware of these rotations. Wami's going for a Diffusal Blade, which, honestly, I don't hate this game at all. No, I mean, pre-BKB, it's going to be pretty horrible for Mercury, right? You need, uh, you've still got a relatively low mana pool. Same sort of thing with the Mars. He doesn't have a Soul Ring for himself. And then, of course, the Wraith King. You need that mana to reincarnate. Double ultimates popped here down bot for Army Genius it's just to try and get the kill on a high and they will be successful. We're going to see Xiao Yu falling mid. Ghost. Ghost going to be careful. I mean, he's pretty fast and without the stuns, they got the chains at least. But may die though, he's completely out of mana right now. He'll be able to get away. Playing around with the bottle. They had to use everything I... to, you know, try and at least get out of that bottom side of the map. So they didn't have wind run. Still no focus fire. He's going to power shot nothing <laughs> in that way. It was, it was a ghost camp. This is uh, a tricky one for them. I, I, I think you've put enough emphasis on the, the fact that like we are just not seeing Mercury do enough, it feels like, on this win rate. It's 1-0 and 3. Like, KDA looks good, but I feel like there just was not enough kill participation. It's like a nice use of the spear. If they can chain lock him down, which they can. Mercury has got the extra lockdown thanks to the shackle, and now with that pickoff, that should be the tier 1 mid. Yes. That is huge for them, you know, now being able to invade, have Wraith King potentially farming aggressively in the uh, Radiant Triangle. You've already taken the Tier 1 tower top, so there's a little bit more safety, as we can see. You make sure to, you know, get a little bit of defensive wards up there. They get the D ward off as well, deep in the lane. 
yeah, it's this tier one tower that's opening up so much for them, and that also opens up a rush potential for them as well eventually. See what you are up against. Hmm. Wami is uh, going to be a bit of an issue. Six zero and two, and you see the net worth is ahead of the actual position two on on Team Mystery. So. His items are just going to continue to, to progress this game as we kind of see Xia Yu as, uh, you know, he's, uh, at least not keeping up in the net worth. He's not too far behind, but uh, not the game you were hoping for for, for Xia Yu. 1 5 and 5. Sure. At least he was able to get that kill onto the Ember Spear, right? Because as much as it That's was the, the damage from Mercury that was able to pick him up, I mean, I sound like such a Mercury hater, but like, it was the blink. Uh, spear into the trees that set that up, you know, like if he is not there that does not happen So good placement by him to enable that to occur and uh, Well Realizing that you know, we've just lost our tier 1 tower. They've got a task with an orb of corrosion We've got uh, you know the tag team. We've got the focus fire. That is a lot of potential to take down Roche So you know the best way to stop them taking Roche take it yourself. Oh, yeah uh, They did a very good job as well of not having everyone not show on the map. Like, the main guy pushed out mid, he pushed out bot. Guy were just completely not aware of it at all. And, I mean, if they were, I have to imagine they would have tried to contest it, considering, you know, you got Radiance, you got your ultimates, level two in the Supernova. So, they give that one over to free, and now that's an extra life. And it gets a lineup where we, we see that, you know, Dyer, they've got a, you know, a couple of big ultimates to keep in mind as well so if you use those ultimates for the first life and then you're able to respawn and not have to worry about them it could be a big factor here mm -hmm. they forced the glyph out all tier one towers are down so they're not going to be able to reset any of that you've also got the radiance on the bottom side and all the skellies died unfortunately but it still should force some sort of rotation down to the bot side although he actually ends up dying this is big for team mystery the fact that they're winning the team fight no mana though, that's the big issue right now. Wind Ranger, Shackle Control from Mermaid Dyer. And now down bot, they're looking to set up on Ghost. They need a TP cancel right now. Through. That's not the cancel, I don't think they've got the damage as well before he gets away. I wonder if he would have popped the Omni Slash off there if he was like two seconds quicker. Probably. He doesn't have too much armor. And he wasn't on the Crete Wave as well. Mm. So maybe they'll get that kill, yeah. You see, though, like, you are not giving any space for Ghost right now. Like, he shows, run at him, make sure we're getting more camps than what he is, and we get more gold, and... Transition into the later game, you got to feel pretty happy in that regard. Yeah, you has been doing a pretty good job on his Snapfire, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> it never gets old. It doesn't stop. <laughs> it won't stop. What's Jug got now? The 2500 going to the bank. What's the next item you think for, for DB before he queues it up? Mm, I'm gonna look away. Uh, butterfly? I feel like it'd be quite nice against the Wind Ranger and the, uh, the Wraith King. You know, not something that naturally wants to build into an MKB and he's already, you know, formed that Maelstrom. Does he want to MKB himself though? Because mm, you got Wind Run, you've got Radiance. I guess, but like, I feel like they're doing enough damage. Like, damage isn't the issue for them right now. It's just being able to survive that initial burst. Yep. Ghost. Ah, the constant poke and prod. Mm, just burn his mana. He, he's got the shard queued up, but it's still gonna take him a bit to get to it. I mean, a shard as well might be nice for the Juggernaut, speaking of. Yeah, very much true. Who they found? Xia Yu. He's got a high in the back up. He's gonna blink on forward with a punch. He'll give them some space. Snowball also cancels off the Mortimer Kisses. Xia Yu's gonna keep his life there as a high does a relatively good job to turn their attention away from his core. I'd say he did and an excellent just... job. He, he did everything that fight. He snowballed, he, he broke up the kisses, he completely blocked off that camp, uh, sorry, that stairway so that the Mars was able to get away. That was really good by Ohio. Yeah, we see, like, Dyer are doing a pretty good job at, at parting out this Ages. They're not Radiant keeping up in farm, though, like, which I guess is a big Dyer's thing. Since they've had that Ages, the attack. net worth lead is still accumulating Dyer's to 7,000 gold, gold, but at least they're not losing big team fights, and, and your Wraith King is still getting farm. Okay. What's Stevie got here? Is he going, uh, a Scotty? Yeah, oh, Scotty. Speaking of him, 
Let's got the healing ward though in the trees. Maybe should be fine now. What move with the rolling thunder? Ghost just picked up that level 18 along with the shard as well. So this is a big timing right now for mystery for the high ground. They're running to a higher. Ghost is gonna blink very deep. He doesn't have the team and now they can commit forward. Ghost, what are you doing there? Supernova Arena. And now with the team fight abilities coming through for mystery, they're gonna look to turn now with the rank. But the roof and forward roll. Now they have the second wife to be able to play around with DP and the silence is there. Rating is gonna get burnt down, but the ultimate's on cooldown. Mystery. They have to reset. They only got the kill on the ages and the pango, even with all those solid abilities getting used. Yeah, again, it just feels like you're lacking in the, the damage department, right? And uh Honestly, didn't even have the full complement of uh, items purchased up there. Juggernaut now, with being able to survive through that fight, he got one kill, I believe, and a bunch of assist gold, so that's going to give him enough to purchase up the Scotty for himself, as he does. It's looking very ominous right now for uh, Team Mystery, and very good if you're an Army Geniuses fan. And look, even more stacks going off here. You've done a great job of being able to get a triple inside the Radiant Camp. And DB is just going to continuously farm. It is the MKB that's coming up after that. Oh, they even spotted this DD room they have. It's going to be a Magdite mixed up, though. <laughs> He's even just got a casual triple stack right now, 26 minutes into the game. Hey, extra farm. I'll take that. Wami's even got a, a Lotus Orb getting queued up next. Pretty good Lotus Orb game, considering a lot of single target abilities. And it will take armor wherever you can get it. Face it, face it. You're a loser. That's beating you here. DB? It's pump fake in the Omni. Doesn't have the luxury of the Aegis this time around. The Scotty kind of uh, gives you a little bit more of that uh, confidence, though. And he's gone for the plus nine armor as well. Plus eight armor. Yeah, he's got so much armor right now. It's uh, going to be difficult game to, to bring him down and, and especially where you see like how do you, you yes you commit on the jug but then you've got a pango rolling thunder counter initiation limbs gonna roll in uh you've got the the ember as well which can kind of disrupt the disrupt the chain lockdown on, on the back so it's um it's it's very awkward for for mystery it feels like to to get one burst unless they're really disconnected and they get rid of the observer ward but uh how many geniuses, they don't mind that much that they haven't been able to go up onto this high ground just yet because we've even got a mechanism coming now through for the Snapfire. So even more sustained for the team. There it is. How do you do it? How do you kill DB? I'll try and push you away from the healing ward. It's a nice start to fight here, DB. Locked down with the shackles as well. He's falling low. They're going to be able to bring him down. A crafty way for Mystery to secure the kill on top of the Juggernaut. They're looking to try and chase for more. But they will not find it. Getting a little cocky, perhaps. You know, you didn't have the Pango standing right next to you. You didn't get the swashbuckle off. You didn't, you've got a Blink Dagger, but where's the Rolling Thunder? And uh, I think we're also caught a little bit there on you. Digging with his shovel instead of actually being there for his teammate. Are they going to go in on Wayne right now? Oh, Lim? He doesn't have a stone, but... Now, but the Cyclone, they yeah, still bring him down to the silence, so... Oh, they'll protect their Observe Ward. I don't think they got the Courier, though. Uh, I don't think Xiao Yu had... Uh, maybe it was actually the Plate Mail that he bought on the Courier, so... He's... Uh, he's actually kind of keep up in the farm, I will say, with the, the Pank Elite, mm -hmm. so... I'm hearing a roll. Good on him there. They're going Bobby? to rush. All right. Oh. Oh, Wami? I mean, he's got that duration. I don't know if you want to go in He's got Ember. Yeah. <laughs> okay. To die smoke now, you got Phoenix up in 15. You've got your ultimates. The lanes are not in a good spot, though. Like, mid's getting pushed in. Bot's getting pushed in as well. Eh, I think bot's fine for now. I mean... <laughs> What can they do? Run away? I guess the, the bonus is that this Roche has still got a minute and 20 seconds left on it. So if it was a super quick Roche, then maybe you could look to punish on Team Mystery. But it, it's still a little difficult. He's actually going an E-Blade on the Tusk. Don't remember the last time I've seen that. E-Blade Tusk. <laughs> uh, okay. Very... Uh, why is he going E-Blade? It has to be just... 
What? Yeah, don't argue? Or, uh, <laughs> no, actually, no, your you? guess is as good as mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, yeah, it's good versus Jog, and I'm like, hang on, let me count through all the other magic damage they have. Hmm, Ember, hmm, Sap, I'm, hmm, Earth Spirit, hmm, blood of magic damage. Or all the other cheaper things that you could potentially yeah, get why not just go do the like, same thing. Yeah. <laughs> like a yours is great. Or why not just, yeah, okay. Even an Aether Lens, to be honest. Uh, not an Aether Lens, an uh, Aeon Disc, you know? If you wanted to spend that much money. It's not even... I, I guess it actually is pretty close, because how expensive E-Blade now? 4,300. Yeah. Aeon's 1,300 less, so... Yep. Yeah, exactly right. Like, if you want to go that expensive to fulfill the defensive role, then go a bit cheaper. I'd be very surprised if he commits for it. Yeah, no, I, I hate everything about it. <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> oh, can't put it lightly. It's, uh, it's a tricky one. Radiant, they're going to smoke up. They don't have many Observ Wards right now in the jungle, so hopefully they're bringing one with them, Wami. Oh, the double silence, thanks to that Mind Breaker. Oh, they're going to roll deep. in. They're straight on top of Mercury on the back line with the BKB. It's going to give him some space at the moment. It's going to attempt the TPR. He'll be successful, but it means he's away from the big team fight now. Once again, it's another great arena supernova combination. But where's the extra follow-up? They use nothing with it. And a Wami's able to blink in. Slows there with the defusal. Ghost is fine. Just go Roche. Like, you don't need to keep going super deep. You just saw them pop everything. The only ultimate that wasn't used is because they weren't able to get the kill onto Ghost. But, I mean, yeah, no rolling thunder, but you still got the Mortimus Kisses. You've still got Omni okay, Slash. Well, you've got an extra 11k network. Well, they're going to get the kill on the Pango. This is, uh... That's a bit of a mistake. Yeah, yeah, you just highlighted. Just go back, take Roche. Like, yes, you maybe Mervang Dyer can shove out Bot, but the rest of your four heroes should be grouped up. You, you cannot give them an opportunity to kind of reset the map now with their abilities on cooldown. Okay, you can see Mystery. Good uh, triple use of the... I'm not sure why they're putting any kind of vision underneath the range of the outpost, just in case it got taken back. You get that true sight. I mean, honestly, I would be going into Roche right now if I was Mystery. You know, you've just given them a huge opportunity to be able to take this. Uh, it's got the Shard on it as well, so that'd be nice to give to either the Tusk or the Mars. But they're just going to play it a little passive, and with that, Pango's going to be alive. You don't have the damage to be able to pick it up quickly enough. Now, what's Mars going for? He's going to Lotus Orb himself. Does the BKB from the Wraith King change the status quo of how these fights have been looking? I mean, Omni Slash still works, so probably not too much. Uh, it doesn't really feel like he's the one that they are focusing or realistically should be focusing anyway. Um, you know, getting on the Mars feels like it's going to be just as effective Wind Ranger again, of course. Speaking of the Wind Ranger, even after picking up that Maelstrom, she's going into the MKB herself. So wanting even more of that burst lockdown damage i don't know i kind of like the gleep Ooh. i'll be honest yeah well ember's got the gleep near queued up he's also got the yeah, shard i don't know that. if you already said that but i have not seen okay, it okay this is a so yeah, i like it go. <laughs> interesting i'm excited to see that that's going to be nice with the agnums smoke on smoke Wayne's radiant very far forward here like he you gotta stay in the trees my man they mm. power shot. Them? They know. Okay. They know the position. Wami instantly charging up the ultimate. He's gonna get on top of the Phoenix. If they can knock oh, him down before the supernova, they do just that. He's gonna buy back to rejoin them, but Ohio as well goes down, pumps the BKB. But once again, he's disconnected away from the team towards the eastern side of the fight. Xiao Yu, Mercury trying to battle over towards the Earth Spirit. They find the kill. But a Ghost Fresh BKB has been completely wasted. And his first time has been completely wasted as well. They need the buybacks, they need the now. The supernova dropped the movement, but it's not gonna matter. The damage, Juggernaut, he creeps down the opposition carry and Team Mystery. Now they have to scramble away from the fight as Lim rolls, finds a tusk. They've also been able to catch out Wayne as well. That's a dieback for your Phoenix. And this is getting to the stage where it might be over. 15,000 network lead. That's going to be into Roche now. Army geniuses go. 
Yeah, and uh, honestly, at this stage of the game, with the amount of farm that Jug has, I can't think of too many better heroes to give that uh, Aghanim Shard over to. Obviously, great against the Phoenix already. You're still able to deal some damage during the Blade Fury to the rest of the team. Now it's just going to be amplified even further. Teams are finally starting to get used to it as well. You know, a lot of teams, they they think that the Roshan Shard is exactly the same as buying it from the shop where it just immediately, like, just goes on yourself. But that time around, considering four people were dead, he's like, okay, I'm going to pick up the Shard first, I'm going to use it like I need to, and then I'm picking up the edges. I like that change, though, because sometimes if you, you pick it up and you're not the person that wants it. And, uh, yeah, we... We're seeing the Aghanims also get picked from DB. Um, do you remember the patch notes for the eggs? Because I swear we don't see this item nearly as much on the jug. Did they just change the cast range? That's all I can remember. I believe so. Do you think that was enough to nerf it? Because I think it was only like reduced by like a hundred. Mm -hmm. uh, I... I don't know, I feel like it's something where, like, the Mask of Madness jug got nerfed a little bit, so it's kind of okay. Like, that that was really where a lot of this burst damage came through, so oftentimes it's not just nerfing the, the hero itself or the, the Ags itself, it's just nerfing the stuff around it that makes it really strong. For you. Yeah, 50 less cast range and a slight increase in mana cost, that's it. Damage. There we go. So the Ag's coming out to him on the Coria, but with the 22,000 net worth lead, no one's got buyback right now in this game. So the next fight that breaks out, we're not going to see that you know, advantage maybe for, for one team or the other, but this is... It's... I just don't know how Mystery are going to be able to have an opportunity to come back. You got team fight, but your team fight's not been working, and it's also got counted in the draft that's so cheeky as well he's just using the remnants to keep the lanes pushed out considering he's got the shard like this is just burning away 45 damage a second <laughs> from so far away as well mm -hmm. the creeps are just like ah, what's happening no such a painful way to die just burn to death has to be up there in the, the top worst ways what yeah is that is that your biggest fear Biggest fear from Tosk is getting roamed on by an Earth Spirit pain going murk down without some help. I don't know if I like. I don't know. Well, let, is that Tusk's biggest fear? Because Ohio has a pretty big hatred for pizza. <laughs> oh no. No. Why did you do that to him? Poor Ohio, man. Oh, that's a nice yours. Oh, Phoenix gonna have to drop the supernova. Otherwise, he's dead meat. Doesn't even matter. Rolls on point. It's looking spicy indeed. Wami is two down, no buybacks available, and well, how do you defend this? The last ditch attempt for mystery. Yeah, and you're even approaching your level 25 now on the Juggernaut. The Shackles, they're just not lashing. It's not reliable enough against these heroes that can reposition themselves quite easily. I will just use the spin. Just spin XD. Just spin XD. Just don't die XD. Mumang Dai is level 25 as well. He's got that Remnant Shard to restore time. He's playing around with uh, a lot of mobility, even Gleepnir available now for him. And oh, full set of barracks getting claimed mid. They're going to try and shove out mid, so they'll have to go through backdoor protection, but Radiant still have Aegis for another minute 20 here, so they're well and truly happy to stick around. They didn't even get rid of the creeps mid, so nope. won't have to worry about that backdoor, but they're all alive. One ditch attempt. Might be a little bit too deep. Punch spins that one cooldown. He's gonna drop the swift slash and Ohio gets ripped apart. Another red kick can't even stand his ground and man fight. Wayne tried to dive away, but now he's not even in the greatest spot, Mercury. Ooh. Does find the kill on the snap fire, so at least they're gonna start this one off with a nice pick off, but it's all the ultimate's pretty much wasted now. Reincarnation on cooldown, no supernova. You've got the arena though, but what can you combine that with? Not too much, and uh, now that's that level 25 on DB. So you talk about survivability, he's got a whole lot of it. They're going to look to get really aggressive now that you know there's no supernova, there's no focus fire. Well, it's just come back up, but... Oops, speed. He's still going to just for like another He's going to be there. Lotus Sword bounces back to Wraith Fire Blast, but like you said, still got the age for a short duration, so he's going to have that second life to play with. 
Do they want to stick around here from Army Genius as Gleepney holds back and a DP shreds apart Mercury? He's trying to run away. But the use of the shards able to close the distance. They drop the arena along with the spear as well. Can they commit forward to try and break down the juggernaut? Go to the Omni! Oh, he rips him apart. Juggernaut's got too much net worth, too much damage. And that's all she wrote. The G's are dropped. And Army Geniuses. This is a great series for them to recover considering how rough they looked versus Galaxy Racer. They're going to take this one 2-0. to zero. And it's a 40-minute game, you know, probably going on a whole lot longer than it needed to. It, it didn't seem like there was ever a position where they were seriously troubled. You know, maybe that one dive going a little bit too deep, but Mystery 